I come in my life and God began to tell me about the, the way he intends to preserve men in these last days. And there is something I've been trivializing. And it's this table. I will show you something. What God showed me was so profound to the point that I now take communion in my house every day. It is that profound. I take communion, oh, I do it, but not, not on a daily basis, not like that. There are things people like us know you don't know. That's why, that's why you are waiting until Satan has now brought you down. Once, you know, this communion table is all purpose. Say after me, all purpose. How many of you have heard of all purpose machine gun? This thing is all purpose. It is all purpose because when it is properly participated in by revelation, it has the capacity to minister to your spirit, soul, and body. And it has capacity to minister to circumstances that has to deal with you as a person and even external matters. Are you getting the point? Yes, to the point that a man that participated in this where even demons cannot afflict you in the night. A young man met me and said that when he wants to sleep, Demons come and, come and molest him. I told him, after praying, take communion. He took communion. The demons stopped coming. Because communion emphasizes covenant and bond. And the, the basis upon which those spirits that molest people in the night come is the basis of charters that we are caught. It's on the basis of covenant, agreement. You might not know when, but it happened anyway. So when you bring this one, he said, do this in remembrance of me. And he was talking about the blood that was shed and the body that was broken. If you with me, say amen. amen. So it will mean that, that this is a facilitator of the covenant, the new covenant that is in my blood. So there can be two covenants around trying to function at the same time. One has to give way for another. So you take communion and put it. As soon as you take that communion, the demon will be waiting for loop because actually those spirits, they function with loopholes and weaknesses within your soul that you have not been able to trace and deal with. See, when a man gives himself to certain kind of lifestyle for long, it is not just about the fact that demons come and afflict you. You weaken the power of your soul the soul of a man is shaped in such a way that there are walls in it. There are gates in it. Eh? So when you engage in certain things, one of the things that happen is that the walls of your soul is weakened. So that by the time you want to say, no, I don't want to do it again, the soul lacks the capacity. Your will is not strengthened enough to resist the powers that is trying to get you down. So when you take communion for the moment, it is not the permanent solution. No. Let, me have, let me tell you now so that before I go further, because some people, people like shortcuts. And as I'm saying this, they are hearing upside down. What they are hearing now is that they should stop praying and fasting and then use communion and cover it. People hear upside down. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that this is a support cast. In case you finish praying, and you were not able to touch all the matters you are supposed to touch. Pertaining to your preservation. Pertaining to your healing. Sometimes, I wake up like this. And I feel some signs in my body. I feel some signs. Yes. I feel some signs. What I do is that I quickly rush to communion. I bless it. I say, Father, I, I know that this is your body broken for me. This is the blood that was shed. And hell cannot withstand it. When it touched the ground, it break rank. The same blood. I come in the name and I consecrate this. Let the same life and power be made available. And I put it in my mouth. The same way hell breaks, the sickness in your body will break. Yes. The same way the ground cannot contain the power of the life that is in the blood. It can't contain it. Oh my God. We survive by the life of God. When it touches anything that is dead. 
and in case you don't know other gates of life that is enshrined in the scripture i bring you one and that is the table because many times we'll be searching for the gates of life we will not be able to find it you pray it's not working you fast it's not working you do this it's not then you know life is not generated this is the table here yeah, there is life here yeah. and i tell you the revelation of the table once you have it it stays with you it's one of the revelations you need to die with huh? oh my god it was the Peter that said if he dies and you serve in communion he doesn't wake up that means he has actually died this is the my body jesus is saying my body broken for you the blood of my new covenant the power of the blood is in the life that is in it and the life that is in the blood of jesus is the life of god himself so when you bring the table you bring the blood and the bread uh, the elements that is represented in, and you present it before god uh, um, in theology there is what they call transubstantiation it is you are a catholic that's why you are doing your hair like this is majorly Catholics that will know this because they gave themselves to it. There is what is called the doctrine of transubstantiation. Even though I don't believe your basis of transubstantiation, because your basis is just the prayer on it. But the scriptural basis for transubstantiation is revelation. Time. Okay, let me just read it. If you're with me, say amen. amen. Growth will melt in people's body today. Answers will disappear. Demonic attacks will disappear. Weaknesses in your soul will be mended up. Some of you here, you are weak in your soul, but you don't know. Yes, your weakness is in the soul. Eh? And you need something that can travel there and begin to walk. If we allow Satan to walk more, you will be too weak to defend yourself in the day of adversity. So we need something to show you up. So that you can stand and build yourself. So that by the time Satan comes again, you have gained advantage. See, wisdom demands that you study and understand the structures that God has put in place for the, in the kingdom to make for your advantage. To make for your preservation. To make for your provision. To make for your... For, for your winning, for your victory. You see, these elements are tokens of the victory that Jesus has obtained. It is a testimony that Jesus actually won. It is a testimony that his power is alive. So if there is a day we come and we are in doubt that Jesus rules, we come to the communion table and we say that we say, we know Jesus died. Come alive, all ye elements. elements so how was he able to receive this revelation in such a way that it 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 transformed it approximated from mere instruction given to him to something he need to communicate to the body of christ he was talking with such authority but the day that they brought the, the that episode took place paul was not there i said how did paul enter into this entered into it so much that he's now teaching men and he told them this i received of the lord i pray today that men will receive of the lord let me tell you what men of god do is to bless the elements what you received of the of the lord is a revelation that which i have received of the lord and i bring to you today that which paul received and gave to the body which we also receive we give to you that in the communion is power that can give everything that is not of god let me tell you the life of god is the antidote to death and all the workings of sin and death in your system but in your spirit but in your soul but in your body when the life of god comes then death begins to come back then satan begins to come back there is nothing that can stand the life of god it is coming from a realm that is superior to death it is coming from a realm that can withstand the powers the bible said even the disciples the apostles testified of jesus he said that death could not hold him captive it was because of the life the life that went to hades and hell is true we invoke that life today 
you receive? Pray for one minute. Ask Jesus, I want to receive something today. And what I want to receive is a revelation. For some of you that have it, you need a higher, a higher. Some of you, you only want in sickness. I say you can work in your business. You can work in your family. Some of you need to go back home and share communion with your family. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. Please do in remembrance of me. Oh my God. After the same manner also, he took the cup. And when he has he had supped, saying, This is the this cup is the new testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Verse 26. For as often as ye eat, this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. 27. Wherefore, 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 whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. Next verse. But let every man examine himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. 29. For he that eateth and drinketh on what he eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the lost body. Let me see the next verse. Keep this part, not discerning the lost body. For this cause. So all this writing is to make a statement. And that statement is what? For this cause. For this cause many are weak. And sickly among you, and many sleep. That word sleep is that is physical death. Do you know what this scripture is saying? It is saying that the incapacity to discern the body of Christ is the reason why a believer can just come out and be sick. The scripture is trying to say the resources that makes for your health is within the body. Huh? Show me tape 29. The resources that makes for for is this where I'm looking? Show me 30 quickly. For this cause, many are weak. You are weak. Mark, the reason why you are weak is because you have not designed the body. I will show you why. And seek because you have not designed the body. And sleep or die because you have not what? Designed the body. Let me tell you. Everything you suffer, the weakness is in your work with God. Eh? 
the challenges you face, you are facing it because you have not designed the body. The body is structured in such a way that it functions. What is it called in biology? It's not homeostasis. It has the capacity to, to nullify everything by itself. Bring equilibrium. So if at a point a man suffers something, it will mean that there is something within the body he has not taken advantage of. And the reason why he has not taken advantage of it is because he has not what? Designed the body. So somebody can be here and be suffering with it. His prayer life is going down. Meanwhile, within the body is a prayer machine. So what is that person's problem? Is it that God has not provided something to succor for his challenge? No, he has not what? Designed the body. Somebody can be sick and he has not designed the body. He will die of his sickness. Until I found out that Benihim was sick. Uh, and then, big, big men of God, Maurice Orulo, all of them, we are praying for him. Maurice Orulo is sick. Benihim, all of them, we are praying for him. I found out that these men understand what it means for you to be ministered to by the body. Uh, just because when a man, a man of God, stands to minister to people, he ministers by his anointing. And the anointing that God placed upon a life is fundamentally unselfish. Meaning that the anointing upon you is for others. So many times when you are anointed, have you not ministered healing when you are sick? And you went back sick and went and took drug. Meanwhile, miracles happened everywhere. It will mean that your anointing is unselfish. It is supposed to minister to others. So, but when you design the body, when you are sick, you go for another anointing. And another anointing will succor you in that day of challenge. But you have not designed the body. That's why you are sick. You have not designed the body. That's why you are weak. Imagine if you have seven men that are your friends, members of the body, that are born in like coals of heaven. Is it that kind of man that will backslide? You don't know. You have not designed the body. You are just moving around. You are in church, but you have not designed the body. Let me tell you, many of the things you are looking for might not be your father. He can be your brother. Eh? Many of the time, the resources you need, 70% or 50, it's in your brother, it's not in your father. And if you have not designed the body, you will. As I look to you for life, affect me. Otinaka, where are you? As I look to you for life, affect my life, breed of me. Oceans. As I look to you, wait. Look, I shall serve them quickly. Serve them.